Forrest and I were at the Bighorn Lions Club for uh, dinner one evening, and I was going to play hockey afterwards. And it was about 10 below or something. And he said, uh, you guys should be playing indoors. And I said, oh, Forrest, it's so much money. He said, well, how much money? And I said, oh, I don't know, five, six million. He said, well, I'll give you five. You raise one. And we did. And we built this beautiful ice rink in Sheridan. Whatever our idea was, a force made it bigger for us. When he decided he was going to do a project, he just jumped in with both feet. Did an awful lot for the community, not only arts related, but also with the college and with the uh, skating rink in town and the Y's. He has created a quality of life that was beyond our imagination. This building would never have been built without Forrest's help because, of course, he was our main benefactor. The Gallatin collection was actually being stored in Chicago, but Forrest found out about it and wanted to bring it back to Bighorn. I had told Forrest about the agreement that Father Peter Powell and I had about bringing this collection here if I could ever build a new building, and he said, well, you know, I'll help you attain that, and of course, he did. Forrest was more than a benefactor. He was kind of the spirit that led us in, in building the building. Had Forrest not intervened, the uh, Britain collection, which was a multi-million dollar collection, would have had to have been sold. And there was a need, both for the community and the college, to have an additional space. This used to be, uh, it's the Perkins Building, and it was an undeveloped space. There was a drastic need of a remodel. When the fundraising campaign launched and they were looking for donors, uh, Forest Mars became the major donor. It's a black box, so it's completely flexible. I don't think we could do it without this space. You're closer to the people around you. You really are feeling an experience together, um, and that can truly make you feel like a bigger part of a community. I got to see this town doing something that it had never been able to do before. So we have people from all over the world uh, coming to Wyoming and they're looking for the culture, for the history. When you build and expand like has been done here now, you create a destination. Folks go, oh, this is amazing. This is truly what I thought Wyoming would be like. We need art in order to enhance our lives and give us reasons to live and give us a passion about why we live. If someone hasn't been here and seen um, the Mars Theater, seen a production in it and experienced that kind of intimacy, hasn't been to the Brinton Museum, hasn't been able to partake or participate in these things that Forest Mars was part of, I'd encourage them to make a trip. Forest Mars Jr. Winner of a 2016 Governor's Arts Award.